The AI boom fueling a big race for cooling technology, certainly when it comes to data centers. Peppa Stevens is at HQ, and she has the details on this story. Peppa. That's right, David. There's not just an arms race for chips, but also for the equipment that cools them, specifically liquid cooling. On NVIDIA's call, CEO Jensen Wong said the number of data centers that want to go to liquid cooling is, quote, quite significant. That's because traditional air conditioning systems just don't cut it for Gen AI chips like those from NVIDIA, given how much heat they're generating. Liquid cooling can also lower data center operating costs since it reduces power consumption. RBC's Dean Dre telling me we've crossed the Rubicon in the sense that there's no going back to traditional cooling. Currently, about 5% of data centers have liquid cooling, with the firm anticipating a 40% compound annual growth rate ahead. Now, right now, there are no pure play liquid cooling companies, but there is a lot of interest given the potential market size. Vertiv has the highest revenue exposure to data centers with Envan and Schneider Electric, other key players. And then there's also the legacy HVAC names. None of them have made a big splash in liquid cooling, but it's a natural extension of their business model. And companies including Train, Johnson Controls and Carrier have all indicated they are interested in a piece of the pie. Guys? Yeah, well, I mean, Pippa, you also cover the energy markets. Obviously, when it comes to data centers, we're talking about power consumption. But the numbers are going to be enormous percentage-wise in terms of how much power is going to be consumed by all these data centers. How important is this advancement in liquid cooling going to be in terms of reducing those overall uh, consumption numbers? Well, the power consumption, particularly with electricity prices on the rise, is a huge cost for the data center operators. And so anything they can do to make their systems more efficient is going to lower their operating costs. And so one of these liquid cooling systems, it can have a higher upfront CapEx cost, but it does reduce the operating costs longer term. Also, a lot of these big tech companies have net zero goals. And so anything they can do to reduce their power consumption, make the systems a little bit more efficient, they are going to want to do that, which is why we're also seeing momentum behind liquid cooling. Yeah, that's an important point. Those carbon neutral goals, of course, are some of the biggest companies in the world. Uh, they can't just rely on natural gas or certainly not coal as well to power those data centers. Pippa, thank you.